Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. This is my project pan update video. Now, apologies about the light. I am filming this about quarter past five and at that time in the UK here it is pitch black. So I'm relying purely on artificial lighting. I have my ring light behind me as well. And I think we might be a little bit too yellowy orange, but I'm gonna try my best to kind of sort out the lighting when I edit this. So hopefully you'll be watching this thinking, oh, the lighting's fine, but apologies if it's not. But anyway, onto my project pan update video. So I'm gonna be talking through my rolling project pan and I have 10 items in my project pan. So once I have used up a product, I replace it with another product. Now this month in terms of success, I have finished off one product and I seem to be making fairly good progress with the rest. But let's talk through the items in the order in which I would apply them to my face. That's usually how I like to kind of go through my items here. So my first one is my foundation, which is my uh, Boring BB Cream. I have to be very careful. I have emptied it into a little Nivea tub here. And that is kind of roughly how much I have left, if you can see. Now, I was hoping to have made more progress with this product this month. And looking at how much is left, I do think that it is going to take me the rest of the month, so December, to completely use up. It's not until you actually cut open a tube and empty the product into another tub that you actually realise how much you have left. So yeah, I have more of this left than I thought I did. But in terms of how many times I have worn this item in the month of November, I have tallied my usage throughout the month. And last month I wore it 15 times, so I wore it every other day. Now, November was a really busy month for me. I went away for a couple of, of the weekends. I started a new job. I was just very, very busy and wearing makeup was just something that kind of fell to the sideline a little bit. So I know I haven't worn all of these products here as often as I would like to have worn them or as often as I usually do wear makeup. But every other day, you know, isn't too bad. So yeah, 15 times the past month for my Arborium BB Cream and hopefully I should be done with it by the end of December. If not, by the end of January for definite. My Tarte Shape Tech Concealer, this one here, I have worn 16 times in the month of November and I did actually take the stopper out. So I am now just using whatever is left on the wand and scraping the rest of the tube. So I think what I'm gonna start to do, I'm gonna alternate between wearing my Arborium BB Cream and wearing my Tarte Shape Tape as a foundation. This is quite full coverage and it is quite kind of heavy and matte. But what I will do is I will mix it in with a drop or two of my Squalene Facial Oil, just to make it a little bit more dewy, just to kind of help with sort of blending it in as well. So I think alternating one one day, one the other day, hopefully by the end of the month, by the end of the year, I will be done with both of these products. But making really good progress with this concealer now, all of a sudden I've actually just kind of come towards the end of this concealer. I'm really starting to sort of see the finish line with it. Now it has been in my project pan since January and it was pretty full when I started it. So a whole year to use up a concealer. Yeah, nearly, nearly there with that concealer. Okay, next item, let's go for my blusher, which is my Milani Luminoso blusher. Very, very pretty blusher. I do feel like the, the dip, I'm not sure if you can see it on the side, I do feel like that has kind of flattened down a little bit. So I think that is a good sign. And I've used this blusher 13 times at the past month. So again, kind of once every other day, every other day I'm sort of wearing this product, but I'm hoping in December to wear this product a little bit more often to kind of get down it. But this is one that is probably gonna be with me for months and months and months, because like with concealers, blushes take a really long time to use up, but good progress so far on this one. Next is my number seven custom blend highlighting drops. I used this 16 times the past month. I still feel like there's a decent amount of product left in this tube though. Now I did try mixing it in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but the overall effect was just a little bit glittery. So not really kind of how I want my entire face to look like. So I am just using a small amount and then putting it sort of here after I've done my foundation and concealer, then I'll powder over the top. I do keep saying that I will mix this in with a body moisturizer, but to be honest, I am in a turtleneck, long sleeved, long trousers on today. It's very, very cold. I'm not showing enough skin at the moment to warrant putting this in a body moisturizer. So I really am kind of 
having to think hard about how else I can use this up. If you have any ideas on ways to use up a liquid highlighter, please let me know in the comments down below. But as it stands, I'm just using it on my cheekbones, bridge of my nose for now. But 16 times the past month, again, like with all the products here, hoping to use it a little bit more regularly in December. Another product I used 16 times was my NYX eyeshadow base and eyeshadow primer. And I still feel like this is quite wet. I open it up and there is a lot of product still on the doe foot applicator. So one that I don't think I'm gonna use up by the end of December, by the end of this year, but one that I use every time that I wear makeup because sometimes I go for a colorful look like this or I go for a nude eyeshadow and I will wear this underneath any eyeshadow look that I'm using. But this is a product where you can't actually see your progress. You can't look into the tube. You can't look in once you've opened it up as well. So that is why I am tallying this one. Next is my eyeshadow, my MAC Blank Type Eyeshadow. I have used this 14 times the past month. So again, every other day. But again, hoping to wear this one a bit more regularly in December. I was hoping to be done with this by the end of the year, but seeing how much is actually left in this pan that I have repressed, I think end of January for this one, I will be highly, highly surprised if I finish this off by the end of December. I just feel like this is a product that just takes so long to get through. It's really surprised me how long it's taken to use up a nude eyeshadow. I did not think that it would take an entire year to use it up and then some. So little bit frustrated with this one, but I do feel like the end is in sight, but it's still taking longer than I was hoping it would do. And I have actually put it in my little Kiko eyeshadow palette here. So this is a lot better than getting out my big Mac 15 pan palette every time. Another eye product is also by Mac, and this is my Teddy eyeliner, which is like a brownie eyeliner with a little bit of gold reflex in it. And I have worn this eyeliner more regularly than I thought I would do. And I really struggle with wearing eyeliner. It's not a product I reach for that often. I do have it on today, or eyeliner. I've got a black liquid eyeliner on. But eyeliner generally isn't something that I naturally reach for. I really have to force myself to use it. I have to kind of think and go, put an eyeliner on. So I have worn it more than I thought I would wear it. And in November, I wore, well, I wore it eight times, so it wasn't actually that often. But I feel like I did wear it a lot. But then maybe eight times is just a lot for me. But I'm going to try to wear it more often next month. Maybe not even just on my eyelid. Maybe I can just tight line with it. Because that way it adds a bit of definition without actually noticing a visible eyeliner, if you get what I mean. So really going to try my best to use this a lot more regularly in December. But on the charts where I've marked my progress, there does seem to be a good amount of visible progress so far, but there is a lot of the pencil remaining. So this is one that's gonna be with me for the next sort of three, four plus months. Okay, the item that I have used up, this is my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Now I did mention this in yesterday's video, my November empties video. So yeah, I have used this up. I think it was about two or three weeks ago when I was using it, I started to notice that it wasn't that wet anymore, but it still worked. There was still a bit of product left on the wand, but the past few days I have really struggled to get any product out and I used it today, the day I'm filming and yeah, there just wasn't product left in this at all. So this is now actually completely used up. And in November, I used it 14 times. So again, every other day. But this is a really nice, easy product to use regardless of the rest of the makeup that you're going for, whether you're going for like a full glam look or whether you're going for a real minimal look. So I found that I was actually able to use this fairly kind of regularly. And the item that I'm going to replace it with is another Benefit Brow product and it is my Gimme Brow. The writing has all worn off. I'm in the shade 3. And this is just a really small little brush wand deposits some pigment onto your brows is really good for people like myself who have naturally quite thick full brows and you just want a little bit of pigment and you just want to keep them in place you don't want to be properly drawing on a brow you want your brows to still look like hair so i really really enjoy using this product this has been open for quite some time now so i want to include it in my project pan because i don't want it to kind of dry up I want it to get used so I think that I can get probably a good two or three months worth out of this product it is a very small tub tube rather and I have used this quite a few times in the past before so I don't expect there to be more than half of the product remaining in here so yeah 
two, three months, I think, for that. And last two products, both lip products. One is a lip liner, my Estee Lauder lip liner in the shade Nude. I have made good progress with this. I have worn it 12 times this past month. It's just a really easy to, to wear and to use nude lip liner, like the, sh the shade suggests. But this goes really well with my Soph lipstick that's also in my project pan but this is also really nice as well on its own with a lip gloss over the top or with a little bit of Vaseline so quite an easy one for me to wear I'm not sure I'm going to use this up in the month of December though because there is still a fair amount of it left I'm guessing end of Jan end of Feb at the latest I'm hoping I should be done with this one but good progress and a real easy product for me to use and kind of work my way through and then my last product then is the one I just quickly mentioned and it was my Revolution Sof Lipstick in the shade Fudge. This is how much I have left. I'm making good progress with this every month but because this is quite a dark brown shade it's not a very easy shade for me to wear. I do have to blot it down. I do have to be careful with how heavy an eyeshadow look that I'm going for. It looks a lot better with a full face of makeup as well because it is that darker nude on me. But I have started wearing this as like a bronzer blush. So I'll just twist it up and draw some lines on my cheek, blend it in with my damp beauty sponge. And that works really nice at giving just a little bit of colour to my cheeks. So I'm trying to multitask with this and that's helping me get through it a bit more quickly. So that is what I'm going to continue to do as well. And in November I did actually wear this 16 times. So again, every other day. But now that we are going into the month of December, and December is when I wear my red lipsticks, even though I'm not a red lipstick fan, but it's Christmas, Christmas makeup, red lipstick. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this as often as, say, 16 times every other day, but I will try my best. But if I'm not wearing it as a lip colour, I will wear it as that bronzer blush kind of colour. So again, good progress with this one, but I won't finish it by the end of December. I'm gonna say end of Feb. I think this will be with me for a good couple months more. So there we go, that's my update on my project pan items. So one item finished, I'm gonna say by the end of December, I'm gonna be done with my Tarte Shape Tape. And I really am hoping to be done with my Boring BB Cream, but there's just, there's so much left in here now that I've cut the tube open. So, Ideally, I would like to be done with this one by then, but it won't surprise me if it's still hanging on into January. But I'm going to say Tarte Shape Tape for definite. I'm going to be brave and say this one is a definite. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far and keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye.